Kai. For those of you following the Draw the Marble Way series, you'll be familiar with the uh, portrait step-by-step -step tutorials I have. I just thought I'd show you my own method today. Right, I started off with a circle. It doesn't need to be uh, drawn with a, a compass or a template. It's just a rough, rough circle. Then, same as their tutorials, do a cross through the middle. And what I've done next is I've I've guesstimated halfway between the center and the edge, and then I've then uh, drawn that same distance again to extend the bottom line down there. And I've used the bottom of that line as the, the baseline for my jaw. Okay, I've then estimated halfway between that center line and that other midpoint that we've uh, estimated and I've drawn another line horizontally and then I've, once again I've estimated halfway from the middle to the edge and drawn dots those become the center of the eyes and here I've drawn in the eyes and the uh, eyebrows and all I've done I've just drawn an equilateral triangle and the apex of which crosses that center line and where that crosses that line that's where the uh, base of the nose will go. So here, drawing the base of the nose, and also as uh, as the top of the head isn't perfectly cylindrical, I've just gone over those sides there, just give it more of a, a head shape. Okay. Now, if you draw horizontal lines roughly straight down from the centre of the eyes, and where it meets the uh, bottom edge of the circle. That's where the mouth goes. That's where I've drawn them in. Okay. Next step, uh, from the center line of the original circle down to where the uh, base of the circle meets the jaw line, that's where you draw the ears in. Okay, and here I've uh, once again measured between the center line of the circle to the top of the circle. Uh, where it's half, the halfway point, I've drawn a straight line across it, and that effectively becomes uh, a good point for a hairline to be started. Obviously, you have to uh, round it out to make it more naturalistic. Okay, and that's basically your head finished. And from there on, you can more humanize it, personalize it, make it into whatever whatever character you want. Whether that, that be a, a young Peter Parker. Or a Gwen Stacy. Obviously, if you wish to do a female, the necessary thing is to make those lines slightly smoother, the nose smaller, possibly the eyes wider, and the uh, the eyebrows more sweeping to give it that femininity. Or you could go in the complete opposite direction, make it hyper masculine, like Cable here, by making the jaw that much bigger, the chin that much further. You increase the distance under under the uh, the chin. Uh, Receded the hairline, giving him all the characteristics there of cable. Or you go in a different direction. Here, what I've done is I've increased the jawline once again. However, this time it's less chiselled and more just m mass looking. And I've shortened the distance between that eye line and the base of the nose there. So this is no longer an equilateral triangle, more of a very flat triangle, creating that. Uh, look synonymous with the Hulk and also I've shortened the cranium as well and I've given him this hairstyle uh, that looks like what as his head as his skull has um, expanded his the amount of hair he has on his head has actually stayed the same making him this very small almost toupee-ish looking pompadour style haircut there yeah. and uh, last but not least some of you might recognise this Wolverine from a previous episode. And I hope this has given you some food for thought and, uh, and it inspires you to go out and uh, practice doing your, your own port superhero portraits. And the more you do practice these, the more, more competent you'll get at them, the more marvel they'll look. <laughs>